Ladies and gentlemen, pimps and players alike, welcome back to the show, the Sneaky Bandit Show. Yes, the Sneaky Bandit strikes again, and hence the glasses and the collar pop. You know what? Let me e even another button there. Get loose with it. So check it out, guys. We got another check-in. Check out the check-in. It's, it's an eight-week check-in event. A check-in event where you can receive various gifts for eight weeks. We have prepared a mega rank-up ticket and a chance to select your favorite heroes. Check in every day to receive all the rewards. Stating the obvious, I love it, I love it. Okay, so check it out, week one, mega rank up ticket. When does this actually start? So this starts, this starts today. My goodness gracious. Okay, so get the mega rank up ticket, week one. Week two, you get a six star vision. Check it out, week three, you can, you can select pretty much any character, right? I mean, they're, you know, aside from paywalls and, and so on and so forth. Uh, okay, so week four we get Falcon. Are they trying to tell us something? Are they trying to tell us something? And then week five, another six-star selector. My goodness gracious. And then week six, Loki. Hmm, Loki, Loki got a show too. Loki got a show too. So, man, I don't know. Are, are these signs? And then Red Guardian. So, Black Widow movie? I don't know. I don't know. It could be it could be irrelevant, but it could actually mean something. And then of course we get the regular tier two advancement ticket. So on uh, um last but not least. And an awaken um ISO. I love those. Those are probably my favorite. That's probably my favorite thing out of this out of this whole thing. Everything else I, I really can't use, right? Those six star selectors is gonna be converted to bios for me, and I'm sure along with a lot of other veterans. All right, so this video is a uniform smasher pass, and then I'm gonna give you my top 10. So let's rock and roll, it's a sneaky bandit style. All right, ladies and gentlemen, pimps and players, here we go. So I know this video has the potential to run long, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to just like kind of speed through it. I don't wanna spend too much time on, on each character and talking about them. Um, but a couple of quick things to mention. So I did make, I made a top 10 list that I'm going to reveal at the, at the end when I'm done, you know, giving my smash or pass. Um, also in the legendary battle, uh, let, let's pop over here real quick and, you know, in case, in case you don't know, if you already do know about all this, you can just, you know, you can just skip ahead until, until this is done here. But some things to note, there's some uniforms that, that I believe are even now gold, just gold cost. Um, that you get some nice stuff. So uh, this Hello uniform, you get an energy. Uh, this Loki uniform, you get this Loki card. Not a very good card, but you know it's something you could use it for fodder. This Hulk uniform, you get an egg. I mean, it's an egg, right? Uh, this Thor uniform, you get this card. This is actually a pretty good card, right? This and this is this is for newer players, right? This is for all the newer players out there. Um, yeah, th th that card's not too shabby. Uh, in any case, you could use it for fodder. Okay, so now over here, it's a little bit better. Um, so this Killmonger uniform, now it's paywall, so it could be a pain to rank up, but you only have to get it to heroic now. And you get an energy. Shuri uniform, you get an egg. Let's see, uh, Black Panther, you get this Black Panther card. Not a very good card, I mean, you could use it, right? If you're a newer player, totally, totally can do it. Um, okay, so this Iron Man uniform, you get this card here, you get this um, Avengers card, and it's a good, very good PvP card, but for PvE, not so good. With the Winter Soldier, you get an egg uh, for, okay, I think that's it there. And then we have some other stuff. Okay, the Ant-Man and Wasp. This is, you get some decent stuff here. So, you get a CTP selector with this Pimtron uniform, and I think, I think that might be it, actually. I believe it is. I believe it is. Okay. Let's rock and roll. All right, now, now that we got that out of the way, um, so I did a smash passer or maybe section. And the maybe is is basically for, for those players who probably already have a lot of these uniforms, but there's still some that, that, you know, maybe you don't have. And depending on how large your budget is, how many how many of these uniforms you could actually buy right now is going to depend on whether or not you actually get them. Okay, so Scarlet Witch, this is a pass uh, because she's getting a new uniform. So definitely don't buy any any of her existing uniforms. Quicksilver, um, this is a pass in my book just because, I mean, if you wanna get the most out of them, get this uniform, but you know, I don't use him for any content right now. Basically nothing, and I gave him a Forge Energy, he's got a decent build, and I still don't use him. 
He's just he's just not that good. He's not he can't keep up with other metas. Okay, Dormammu. I put this guy in the maybe section just because he is a monster for Alliance Conquest. He's so good. He's like he's in the top tier for 100%. But as of right now, like he was ABX meta, not anymore. Now he just I, I don't use him. So I'm, I'm giving you off my own experience. I have basically every character and I've tested every character and I've like maxed out any characters worth maxing out. And I just, I don't use them anywhere besides AC and then lead for Gene Danger Room Extreme. It's the only place that I use them. Odin, this is 100% smash. He's on my top 10 list for sure. He's so, so good. Um, destroys PVE content, even with what's going on with Rage and Pierce, even with the Rage. That's how good he is. Silver Surfer. Okay, so I, I wanted to put this guy in the maybe maybe section just because, you know, Sentry came along and, and we have, you know, some of these other PvP metas, but you, you kind of still need this guy. Like this week, Sentry's banned and you want, so you want this guy on your side. So I'm going to say smash on this. Definitely smash on this. Plus, you could do some PvE content for you too if you wanted to give him a PvE build. Okay, Thanos. Now, I'm going to, okay, he, he's like kind of in between maybe in, in past just because he's fallen off too. Very good for Alliance Conquest, but outside of that, you know, you don't see him on many timeline teams anymore, um, but he, he's up there in Alliance Conquest. So, you know, if, if you know, you were just looking for uniforms to buy, if you had all the metas, then sure, go ahead and get them, and he could provide some use for AC, but you're not going to use him anywhere else. He does have his striker ability, but, but that's about it. Okay. Apocalypse. He is ABX meta, so I'm going to have to smash on this guy. Plus, you use him on reset day. Um, you use him twice in the same day, which is which is today, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, I, I gave him a mighty judgment. I only got 12% all attack, but I'm not rolling that thing until I have like 100 obelisks. All right, so that, yeah, that's where his use is. You don't use him anywhere else, though. Okay, uh, this is a smash, 100%. He's so good with this uniform. Well, okay, I use, I use the summer days more, but you can totally... Use this uniform. He could still like score very well for ABX with the Rage, with SFX on, with this uniform, and he's very good for basically all other PVE game modes. And I, I mean, I have a brilliant on this guy, so that's got to say something. All right, Jean. Okay, so she is a smash. She's a smash because she's still she's still very good for PVP. Um, to be honest, I would get this uniform over the Marvel Girl uniform just because um, I think she's better for PVP with this and. She's a counter to any combat types, right? Hulks, Luke Cages now. Um, like, I smash this. Like, if I come across a gene with this uniform on, just smash her. No questions asked. This one can be a bit of a pain. Sometimes sometimes it takes out my uh, my, my Luke Cage. And she can perform with, with like, an obelisk, too. All right, so this, this is a pass. Not going to spend much time talking about that. That's a pass. This is a pass. Man, they just do this guy dirty so much, dude. Uniform after uniform. Look at all these uniforms. And they still they still can't get it right. What's wrong with you guys? Okay, uh, Doctor Strange. I'm gonna say smash on this, but I, I kind of wanted to put him in the maybe. But you know he's got this um, applies to all allies, increased you know all defense, all attack by 80 percent plus crit rate by 60. It's very good for Danger Room. Um, so you know bring him as a lead. You pop that fifth and then just you know watch the bars fly. Um, I don't really use him you know outside of that. I mean he can, he can get some you know World Boss Legend done for you, but he's he's not he doesn't reign true at the top of the meta. All right, this, this uniform, like, I don't use Deadpool anywhere, anywhere, right? Everybody went ahead, got this uniform when it came back around. But, you know, I'd say if you have this one, like, definitely don't get that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pass pass on that uniform. All right, uh, Namor, I'm going to pass on this uniform just because it's not meta anymore. Some people use it for Danger Room, but it's not meta, and it's paywall, so you need, you need like, real money to, to actually upgrade it. This uniform, this is a smash. This is 100% a smash because of the passive. Now, if you look non-uniform, his lead is 25 and his passive is 10%. You give him the Phoenix 5 uniform and bada bing, bada boom, 35% and 30%. So it's a huge upgrade, huge upgrade. Passives, I can't say it enough. Um, support passives are, are gold. They're gold in World Boss Legend. This is a pass for me. He was ABX meta for a time, not anymore. Don't use him anywhere. Uh, Professor X. Now I'm gonna say this does make him, you know, a much better character, but I'm gonna say pass because, like, I don't use him anywhere, and you need real money to upgrade his uniform. Unless you want to spend your mega uniform upgrade ticket that you're getting from the check-in on upgrading that uniform. 
All right, this, I'm gonna say smash on this because you know me and my passives. I love these passives and you get an additional 35% to all elemental damage. Without a uniform, it's 12% increase to lightning damage. So it, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of a big deal. Rogue, this is a smash 100%. Squad battle meta, um, she just becomes, she's so good for world boss legend too. I love this uniform. Um, I might even go try to go for rank one Rogue. I might try to get it. I might try to get that. Um, that's how good she is. Carnage, he's a smash too. Um, you know, here, here's the thing. I don't, like, he's really good for danger room for me. Um, he's got this rage, and we all know what's happened with rage and Pierce. I bet if I put an energy on him, he would be able to fly through World Boss Legend. And he's really fun to play. Um, he's good. He's good. I, I totally get it. Um, it's paywall. It's paywall. So there's that. Uh, this is a pass. This is a maybe. This is a maybe. He's, you know, he's still a meta for Alliance Tournament. Um, but you know, most players aren't in Alliance tournament and you don't see him on timeline teams really anymore. He's just, he, he's kind of fallen off. He's like kind of almost there. He can get it done for you if you're playing manual, but, um, there's just other characters that do it better now. And, and yeah, that's why he's in the maybe Venom. This is a smash only because of ABX meta. He is ABX meta now. So there, there's that other than that. I don't use him anywhere. His striker ability is good, but you don't need his uniform for that. Same with Cap. He's got this good striker ability, but I don't use him anywhere. This is a 100% pass, and that goes for all his uniforms. I just, I don't use him anywhere. So, besides a striker. So, it's a pass unless you wanted that additional, you know, striker damage. This is a 100% smash. She is so good. I mean, I don't even think I really need to say much about her. We all know her value and how good she is, and that she's on my top 10, 100%. Um, same with Iron Man. He's on my top 10 too. He got, man, this guy got some justice. This uniform completely transformed him and he gets so much better as the fight goes on with this uniform effect. Uh, increased damage by 200% when the boss or enemy is at 30% HP or lower. I'll go ahead. I'll continue ranking this guy up. Uh, but yeah, that's a smash. This, now thing is this, on no uniform, he, his, his leadership is 45%. You give him this uniform and it increases to... 55%. So there's that. So, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe, but definitely not a smash for me. I mean, you could totally pass on that. I don't use them for any content. Her, I don't use for any content either. I would just pass on that. I, you know, especially if your budget's kind of tight, total, total pass. Daredevil, this is a smash 100%. He's so good with this uniform, so good for PvP. Didn't surprise me for PvE, but he's on my timeline team. He was on my timeline team line team last week and he's on my timeline team this week as well he's very very good um he's, he's also on my lines tournament team so that's got to say something this is a smash only because of abx um outside of that i don't use, i don't use her anywhere but for abx she scores very well so that's going to be a smash just for that this is a pass i mean how many again i mean how many uniforms this guy <laughs> just can't be metal huh just can't do it for him. Let's hope they give him justice this this next movie. But that's a pass. This is a pass. Again, you know, unless you wanted to grab that egg. I don't know. Um, Black Bolt. So this is a maybe. I mean, if you want to get the most out of Black Bolt, like he could do it for you, especially like with Medusa in, in her new uniform. You give him his own lead, her, you know, her support passive. And I'm sure, you know, he could, he could surpass other metas um, that didn't have like any lead or support, if you get what I'm saying. But that, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. This, I'm giving this a maybe. Even though she's ABX, I'm still putting her in the maybe just because I hate her. I hate her. I want her gone. So let's hope Scarlet Witch gets a universal tag and we could actually use her. But she, she's in the maybe just because she's ABX metal now. Ghost Rider, he's on my top 10. This is a, this is a smash 100%. Completely transformed this dude. He is now uh, an absolute monster for, for all PvE content, um, period. Um, like danger room extreme right strife he is the single best character for strife um and he's very good for magneto now the thing is you know since moonstone came to the game you know it, like it's kind of annoying right like you go in you don't know if there's a moonstone on the other side and you don't have a moonstone or torch on your side then like you, you kind of know your toast and it's kind of annoying because it's just one shot like where's the fun in that but he's so good right squad battle um abx um, this uniform, like I said, definitely on my top 10. Now, Loki. Um, really, I only use him for ABX, but he's so fun to play for ABX. Like, I actually look forward to that day. 
Um, sometimes I just don't have the time to really play, but he's a smash. He is definitely a smash. Um, he becomes a, a usable character. Now I bet if if the whole you know Pierce and in, in, in Rage you know thing wasn't happening, I could I could use him for World Boss Legend. But as of right now, I really don't just because of that. Uh, and dispatch, he has his dispatch value, right? Him, Rogue, and Odin are for me, anyways, the three like they, they can get it done faster on auto. Um, and if you're playing manual, you definitely you know bring Loki along. He could totally get it done for you. Uh, okay, Thor. This is a smash. I mean, you know, he he becomes very good with this uniform. I think we all know it. Um, he's not on my top ten though. He's not on my top ten, but um, but he's very good with this uniform. That's for sure. He he's he's to he's towards the top of the meta. He's not at the top tier. You know, maybe I'll do. Let me know if you guys want um, me to do like you know make, make like a like like a tier list for for characters, right? We do like like you know omega tier or like top tier and then just like i don't know we'll have like maybe six different tiers for characters or five or something like that and then you know i'll classify each character um let me know if you guys want me to make my own list but he's uh he's very good with the uniform so that that's a smash she i'm gonna say pass on this even though you could use it for abx but she's not the, she's not the main chick valkyrie's the main chick and she increases your score just by a little bit so I'm gonna say pass on this. She's like she's so bad for, for for PvP or PVE. Um, she she just is. Okay, Gambit. This is a smash. Gambit becomes very good, a, a usable character. He's, you know, those, those awaken skills and swapping in and out um, is, is pretty invaluable. And um, you know he could take advantage of Star Lord lead along with Cyclops passive. So you know he he becomes pretty valuable in that sense. So yeah, he, he's very good. Uh, that's a smash. Cho, that's a pass. This this is a pass, even though it completely transformed this dude. Like I'm peeling all the blessings off this guy, you know, little by little. Whenever I need him, I'll be taking this off him too. I don't use him anywhere, nowhere. Uh, Luke Cage, this is a total smash. This dude smashes PVP like it's nobody's business. He's so good. He's on my timeline team. He's on my alliance tournament team. Um, love this dude. Love playing with him. Um, I mean, he wins like most of my matches on timeline. Um, I mean, I don't think no, no matter what team you're using, every once in a while you're, you're going to lose a match, you know, here and there, depending on what happens. But um, yeah, he's just, he's got it. He's got it. Moon Knight. Um, this is a total smash. He's on my top 10 because he's just so good for PvE. I mean, he carried me from 25 to 29 uh, from Mephisto in his combat, so that's got to say something. I think we know how, how good this guy is. You want to give him an energy, though. You totally want to give him an energy. Um, yeah, that's my opinion there. Thing. Um, I'm gonna say pass on this. What, what, what this does is this uniform, if you get his uniform, it, it gives him additional, um, okay, so you see he gives 40% all attack and then he has some damage decrease there. You give him this uniform and what, the, what does it do? He gets an additional 25% increased damage to boss types, it applies to all allies, plus he gives an additional 15% for you know HP. But other than that, that that's his use. He's he support, but it only applies for to Fantastic Four, so I could not put it on the Smash. So I'm gonna say pass on that. Invisible Woman. This is a, in the maybe section because, you know, if she didn't have any uniform, she she couldn't do, she, she couldn't do any PVE content. Now she's not so far behind this uniform with this one in PVE. She's definitely a little bit faster, but her survivability goes up a lot with this one. She's on my, she's, she's, I use her as one of my Mephisto clears, so that's how good she is. And uh, her survivability is excellent. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like playing Mephisto on easy because, you know, her passive kicks in, she turns invisible, and she kind of can squeak out of the stun machine and all that. Plus, she had the damage decrease. She can take advantage of the maker's lead, plus, well, reads the lead, and then think passive, and she becomes, she becomes pretty good in that sense. This is a pass. This is a smash. He's ABX meta, squad battle meta, and he's speed type, so he's even better for Mephisto. And that awakened skill he does some serious work. Yo, know, what is happening, fellas? Just your neighborhood friendly Godzilla here, popping in, you know, doing his thing. So one uniform I almost left, I almost forgot about, is this this one right here, Taskmaster. So the his uh, his his passive, his increased damage to you know heroes and villas is actually on his uniform here. They had those sneaky devs, that's what they did. So you had to buy it. Not only that, but if you go to the legendary battle, the mercenary in the red room, if you get it up to legendary, you also you get a CTP of insight. And we all know how handy those can come in. So that's a smash in my book, friend. Alright, Godzilla Nader out. Enjoy your broadcast. 
So, I mean, unless you're really trying to up your game for squad battle, I'd, I'd say, you know, you, you could you could pass on this. It doesn't increase your score by that much. And, I mean, do we need any more Mandalay gems? I think not. Um, okay, so this is in the maybe section. In the maybe because she becomes decent. She becomes decent, but for me, because I have every character, I don't use her. I don't use her really anywhere. Um, I mean, she has a very good build, 16 Owens or 15 Owens Blessings. And I gave her an energy, and she has stage, stage, stage 9. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't use her. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll try bringing her to Mephisto and really testing and see exactly where, where she is compared to others. But as of right now, I'm not using her. So I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say maybe, right? If you're a huge Gwenom fan. Okay, Medusa, I'm going to say smash on this because of her passive, right? And, you know, it can apply to, to Black Bolt. Um, and hopefully we get more in humans that, you know, that passive can apply to. And, and she, you know, you can use it for ABX. She right she she does the cancel plus she gets you know a small increase to the score um and and she's good she's good right she's got the leadership and in a in a pretty good standalone character colossus this is a this is a smash i mean this uniform is just right you see it on every pvp team um we all know how you know we all know the value of it um uh, because if you only give them if he does, if he has no uniform what happens is the 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 passive is limited to decreasing damage from villains now you give them you give them the uniform and the passive it applies to heroes now so so yeah there, there's that so that, that this uniform is on my top 10 just because of how useful it actually is okay pass on nightcrawler um her yeah i suppose you could you don't you don't need this uniform for her to actually have the have the debuff removal effect but it, it's it's a very useful tool to have in your kit that right there but I, I'd say you, so. I'd say you, you could pass on the uniform. I wish you could actually still get this one because this would be a 100% smash if you could. Whenever this comes back around, you better get this uniform. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Other than that, I mean, ancient one, like maybe, maybe because it turns them from you know uh, male to female, and then you know you could use the debuff, um, pass, you know, the debuff striker ability um on like different requirements for null so you know if that's if that's important to you definitely get it if not then don't i wouldn't worry about it so yeah you can use them basically anywhere besides well he, so being blast and male and female you can use them for a lot of different requirements okay i think that's it i think that's all the uniform nimrod i'd say pass on this he was okay for a time for like ac but like I, i've been losing like every match when i bring him in for for ac um, I try, I try fighting metas, but, but still he should be able to do it, right? He's got that crazy passive. All right. That's going to do it guys. That is going to do it. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm trying to keep, you know, I don't want to, I don't want the video to run crazy long. So yeah, I, you heard me talking super fast, trying to get through this because there's just, there's a lot of uniforms and I understand there's a lot of confusion. Like which ones do I get? Oh, I got to give you my top 10, my top 10. Okay. So I divided this into three sections guys, um, because I just, I, I really couldn't choose and so at the bottom, the bottom three, and I'll put the list on the screen, the bottom three are going to be, so it's Valkyrie, Colossus, and Iron Man. And you can put those in whatever order, but that, that's the bottom three there. The next tier, there's four in this next tier. It's uh, Cable, Rogue, Moon Knight, and Odin. And I think Odin Cable might be up higher, except um, except their except their cost. You, they cost more to rank up, right, their uniform. And the top three, I have Sharon Rogers, Ghost Rider, and Torch right torch for his you know he, he got an amazing rework and he, you know he's, he's he's the one one shot king i mean you you can't you can't shake a stick at that now and it, yeah his awakened skill rotation does some banger damage so there it is guys i'm gonna end it there um i'm gonna have the gambling video coming up next gambling video and i'm gonna talk about all the stuff in the store you know like i said get, tell you you know exactly what what i look to buy some things that i would just stay away from that i, I just don't think are worth it plus we're going to be opening the uh i think there it's the iron no it's not the iron man chest it's the i actually left one in the store here the fantastic four i left one in the store so this was actually still here um because i want to talk about that so I'm gonna end it there, guys. So uh, you better stay tuned for that. You stay breezy, but most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace.